Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial in the Android app from Scratch series. Uh, in this tutorial, or in the last tutorial, I guess you could say, uh, we kind of went over all this video stuff with the Java Media Framework and to attempt to convert a uh, video into GIF format. We didn't quite get there. And we also imported some external jars into our, uh, into our library, or into our project. And uh, today we're going to kind of take a little bit of a break from this, and we're going to work on uh, creating uh, some sort of menu in our main activity, because eventually we want to have a menu in which can, we can reach uh, a settings activity so that we can set settings like the frames per second of the GIF and where to save the files and everything. So in order to build up to that, we have to create um, an options menu is what they're called. And an options menu is basically... Uh, something that shows up when you hit this menu button. Now, right now, in our activity, nothing actually shows up. So, But if you look at some other um, activities, you can actually see that uh, something does show up in the options. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do is we have to actually create a layout for the menu. And in order to do that, it's in your res folder. If there isn't a menu folder, let's go ahead and create one. Because you do need a menu folder to store these menus. And then right-click menu and go new Android XML file. Make sure this menu is clicked. And let's just go ahead and call that main menu.xml. Let's finish that. And you can see that they've already created the basic menu outline for us. Now you can either create a new menu item in here or directly in the XML. We're just going to go ahead and create it in here. We want an item. And let's go ahead and call that, uh, let's see, we want settings, um, settings item. Okay, we're going to need an icon and a title. Let's make this string settings. And in order to get that to work, we have to go to our strings and add a new string value. And we do also want an icon because icons are pretty much like they look a lot, or menus look a lot better with icons. So uh, let's go ahead and add one of those. Um, I've already actually downloaded an icon, and I'm just going to put it in the drawable high definition folder because I don't really have any other uh, uh, icons in uh, various uh, definitions. I just have one, so I'm just going to throw it in there. So it is in my desktop, so we're just going to go ahead and hit that, and there it is. So we're going to import that into our drawable, and there it is. So we're, that's going to be our menu icon. So in order to add it, we just reference it here, uh, drawable. Looks like there's some crazy stuff going on down here. I'm not entirely sure what those errors are for. But they are slowing me down a lot. I see menu settings. Looks like it's some sort of error with maybe the jar files I've imported. <clears throat> but anyway, okay, now that we have our uh, our menu XML all done, you can see that the uh, XML has been filled out. We're going to go back to our main activity. And we have to basically create two methods. One of the methods has to actually create the menu, and the other method has to handle any clicks on the menu. So our first uh, method is going to create the menu. It's called on create options menu, and it gets passed in a menu object. Now what we have to do is, since the menu is currently in XML, we have to inflate it into a view, and we're actually going to inflate it into this menu. So in order to do that, we have to first get a menu inflator. It's incredibly annoying. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and looks like I misspelled it, and make sure everything's imported. All right, so then we do inflator dot inflate. Oh, inflator again with my misspellings. Inflate and the menu uh, ID that we want is r dot menu dot main menu. And the menu objects we want to inflate into is menu, which was passed to us. And then after we do that, all we have to do is return true. And we could have some sort of um, 
Uh, we don't have menu imported, which is why it's yelling at us. We want that menu. And there must be something wrong with these jar files, which is why this is taking so long, but okay. Anyway, now that we have this, um, <clears throat> we sh sorry about that. We should be able to see the menu, so let's go ahead and run our program. Pop this up. And wait for it to build. Select our emulator. So we should be able to see the menu pop up as soon as our app, uh, Android application loads. See how it's doing. Okay, I'll click it's final loading. There we go. Now when we hit the menu, there we go. See the settings popped up. And right now if we click it, nothing happens because we haven't actually registered anything on it. So let's go ahead and exit out of that. Oh shoot, we probably should not have exited out of that. Um, let's just run that again because it takes forever to load that up. Okay, um, now I think I also want to add another menu to it. So let's go ahead and do that, or another item to this menu. Uh, we want to create a top level one, an item, and what did I call this one? Item. We want one that uh, allows us to exit. Icon is going to be drawable. And let's load this up. Let's see if we can find a good icon for us. No, we don't want edit, we want exit. There we go, that's what we want. Looks like it's a smaller one. It's MWPI, we want the larger one. There we go, that's what we want. And you can see in this uh, this project, they've actually, they have high definition ones and lower definition ones, but we do not. So, Let's see, that is in my downloads folder, so let's go ahead and grab that. Import file system. It's going to be in here. Downloads. Nope, wrong downloads folder. If I can remember where my downloads folder is, just grab it from here. Paste it on my desktop. And click like that, and it should be there. Settings, where is exit? Okay, there we go. So, browse to desktop again. Try this one more time. There it is. Finish. <clears throat> and we want to rename this because we want to get rid of that one. Okay. Well, that took a little while. So I see menu exit. Now we have two different menus. And we don't really need to edit this since we're just inflating this menu here. Um, looks like everything's good to go. So now when we run it again, it should have both of these menus up, or both of the menu items up. You can see that right now it has one because it actually hasn't run the other one yet. And while we're waiting for that to load, 
let's go ahead and uh, begin working on our the second part of this, which is when an uh, options item is selected. So that method is we override it, and it's public boolean on options item selected and menu item item. So this is the item that has been selected. So all we have to do is we have to switch the item get item ID. Now, and since we know uh, the IDs of each of the items, we can just do case r dot ID uh, exit item. And then we can have settings item. And this one's easy. We just do this dot finish. And let's make sure to put uh, put a return true here. Just make sure it doesn't yell at us. We can actually go back here. See that our menus cool. Both of our menus are here. Excellent. And. After this thing finishes, and our settings right now, um, I guess we're going to work on that next time. Uh, we'll begin working on the settings uh, activity, but for now, we uh, let's just make sure that this one works to show that our code is actually executed, and then we can work on the much more complicated settings activity later. So let's go ahead and run this. And also, um, during this, I'm going to try and figure out why this takes so long. Because when I run any of my other projects that are like 10 times as big as this, it builds instantly. I'm beginning to suspect these jar files, but there's nothing we can do at the moment. So, make sure that this is running. Select our emulator. And to show that everything works as desired, we click exit and it should exit. Well, it shouldn't exit like that. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Alright, there we go. So, menu, exit. Hooray, it exited. So, that works as, just as we want it. Uh, so, that's it for this episode. Um, hope you guys learned something about creating menus. And I'll get worked, get started to get. Uh, working on that speed problem and we can then begin to work on our settings activity where we can set settings that we can load and save it from uh, storage that will persist through uh, application uh, different uh, instances of, of our uh, application. So uh, that's it for now. If you'd like to see anything else about Android or C Sharp or any other of my other tutorials, make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, especially subscribe to my channel. You guys are awesome. Uh, that's it for this episode. Squack, we're signing up.